Good morning, y'all. As y'all can hear in my voice, it's early, okay? <laughs> this ain't Monica, baby. This is Mark. This is Mark this morning. But I'm starting early um, a few days before Thanksgiving so I can kind of stretch stuff out for me. And I won't be doing too much, you know, in one day. So I wanted to show you all what I use for my dressing. So we're gonna start off with the big debate, baby, the Jiffy. Listen, I use Jiffy, but you can use homemade cornbread, but Jiffy ain't did nothing to me, and it's good, baby. Everybody go back for a second. So whatever cornbread you choose, whether it be homemade or Jiffy, but that's what I'm using. And then I like to use this Pepperidge Farm herb season stuffing and i use that because of all of the different seasonings that it has in it so um so i use that i've been using this for years i think one time an older person told me about this and this has been maybe 10 years ago maybe more than that but ever since then i've been adding this to my dressing and it's definitely a game changer with all of the um, herbs in it. And you have to have the Trinity mix. Well, you can just use the onion, um, cut up the onion, bell pepper, and celery. But a few years ago, I started getting this from Publix. So I'm going to use this, probably like one and a half to two um, containers of those because I'm not cooking a lot we're not having company this year so you may need to use about two of those if you don't cut them up yourself and then i have the chicken broth of course you already know you have to have the poultry seasoning and the ground sage and then i'm gonna add some of the himalayan pink salt um seasoning y'all know this is one of my favorites but i may add some other seasonings to that as well and yeah so let's get started with the dressing i don't know how i'm gonna do this video because i know people want to see like after the fact so i may just i don't know put all of it together at the end some type of way and make one video i'm not sure yet but this is what i use for my dressing so i'll keep it still so if you want to screenshot it you can one thing that I forgot to tell y'all was that in the Jiffy Mix, I use buttermilk instead of, I don't know if it's that milk or I don't know. I've always used buttermilk, so um, I use the buttermilk and then I also add the butter and the eggs, but definitely use buttermilk instead of milk or water or whatever it is that you put in the Jiffy Mix if you use Jiffy Mix. I'm just forgetting everything, y'all. It's early. <laughs> so, I also left out the cream of chicken soup, y'all. Okay. Now, let's get started. It's cold outside.
What's up, fam? Welcome back to Meet and Monica. Hey, and you see your boy is up with clothes on. Monica is in cooking mode. That's how you know the people that don't cook. They fully dressed. Now, if you don't look like me, your food ain't good. You don't look like me in the kitchen on Thanksgiving. Your food ain't good. What you mean? You can't be fresh in the kitchen? No. You don't know how to cook if you ain't looking like this. You have to warm up on y'all, you know. They can't see y'all think I'm in the way. <laughs> um, I'm trying to taste this dressing, y'all. I don't like tasting no room temperature dressing. I hate tasting food. You gotta cook. When I'm cooking. Huh? You gotta cook. Yeah, yeah, I gotta cook. Yeah, I can't stand it. No. You know it's gotta be good, so you gotta taste it to make sure. You, you know, see if you missing something and last night when I did it, I'm like, uh-uh, it ain't right. Because it ain't making, this, it wasn't making you overeat if you want to or stump yeah, your yeah. feet, so. I won't eat it till it's done. I can't eat it like this, so. Yeah. I gotta wait till it's done. It. Then I eat, then I taste it. Who else do that? Who else, um, like, heat up your food before you taste it? I can't, I can't, like. Okay, it's getting it, it's got that smell. Yeah. Smell it. Yeah. Okay. It's getting there. I'm trying to see. It's getting there. Yeah. It's there. When you ever cook some taste? It's no. Uh-uh. It's there. I had to watch Monica, y'all. She'll overdo it with everything always good. But I don't want her to overdo it. What you mean? Me overdoing something about my back? No. Like your seasoning. Boy, bye. <laughs> I know you ain't talking that steak back to me out. That steak was all the chain. I don't know what you talking that, about. That steak took my cholesterol up to if a minute. Not, if you're nice and easy, you're not seasoning. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I got that turkey out there, y'all. Smoking. It's, it's, let me tell y'all what I did, though, this time. I let it sit overnight in the refrigerator, just so the so the dressing, right? So the seasonings can come together because you don't want to over season. So so so, like so so today is Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So happy Thanksgiving to you all. Normally, Monica do prep videos <laughs> night before Thanksgiving. Right. Two days before Thanksgiving, she be mm -hmm. prepping. But uh, we cooking on Thanksgiving because. This is our first year, and by 20 years, that we're not having family over. Yes, yes I am. Not, not your boy. Because I'm used to everybody coming <laughs> here. <laughs> Daddy, aunt, everybody. Mama, mother-in-law, I'm used to everybody coming over. But this is our first year. Right. That and now that family. I don't want to see the family, Cause I, I mean, I don't mind with seeing a family. It's just that when um we had people to come over, it, I mean, I would be in the kitchen like. Man, you just can't do it by the way now. Well, that's okay. I'm, I'm gonna get that boy put a whole uh, bowl of dressing. <laughs> Monica said she put a whole bowl of dressing. Yeah, that's the only thing I like about it. I really overdid it with the amount of dressing, and it's only because. I feel like something went right, like it wasn't giving me that foot stomp. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, I wasn't stomping my feet, so I told the teacher, like, I feel like I need to add some more cornbread. So I ended up making some more cornbread last night. I added it this morning, then I let it sit for maybe like, what, an hour or two? I know daddy come over here to eat. Right. <laughs> and then his daddy said, um. You don't go to nobody else's house. Then his daddy said, um. He was like, it's been 20 years. You know, yeah. they've been coming to the house. I didn't realize it's been, it's that, been long. that long. Yeah. Everybody come to our house. Just like, just say if all of y'all go to your grandma, grandmama house or auntie. your mama house or yeah. auntie or whatever. So our house is that house. So like Demetri said, I've been doing it for a long time. But y'all, I used to be up like all night because at the time, you know, I had the business. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would... I would be working all the way up to it the day before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. So, we're going to get back to it. I don't know if we're going to do it Christmas. We're going to already do it for Christmas. That's because the kids were smaller, though. But yeah, everybody normal. old, man. So. Yeah, it's normally Thanksgiving and the 4th of July when we do it big. 
Yeah. But y'all know how when you in the kitchen prepping for like any holiday, you want to have your music on. Last night, me and Demetrius was, he must have to go back out, honey. He just ran out there. What's that? Oh, I thought I heard the garage open. But last night, um, me and Demetrius, we was in here jamming. And you know, you just, I just didn't feel like cutting the camera on, showing a whole lot of stuff. And then plus, I have a Thanksgiving prep video from a, a few years ago. Uh, but we want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, man. And hope you guys are able to spend time with each other, spend time with your family, you know, and just be thankful and grateful, you know, period of the season, you know, that we're in and that you're in. You know what I'm saying? So happy Thanksgiving there. We should, you finna get enough taste. And I taste it again. And then I'm going to be ready to put this in the oven and start on the macaroni and cheese and just mix the potato salad. And I'm done because Uncle Ro, uh, he made my Green. greens. And then I already baked the pound cake. Y'all saw me making like a, well, not making, but like the end result of a lemon blueberry cake. That was for Uncle Ro. Mm -hmm. So I already dropped that off with the sauce and then the glaze on the side. And then... Oh, he had that cake, y'all. Oh, I feel like somebody was at the door or whatever, but... um, oh, I don't know. I think I'm just used to people uh, ringing the doorbell, like, starting to come in. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> you know, something else I wanted to tell y'all. Also, me and Demetrius, like, we left out early this morning. We dropped Uncle Rose stuff off, and then I went by um, my friend's house, picked my sweet potato pie up, because she baked my sweet potato pie. Then we came back home, and I put my pajamas back on. <laughs> who? Who trying to look out cute? Now, I know y'all see some of these YouTube videos, and then old girl be in the kitchen with the um, lipstick on and the makeup on, how done? No, not over here. We're not doing it. Not this, this, this is the real deal um, morning of Thanksgiving. So. <laughs> I want to go live, y'all. So I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to go live tonight or tomorrow. I'm going live one of these days. Uh, and we're going to holler at y'all. We haven't went live and holler at y'all in a while. Mm -hmm. So, Mitch, you need to taste it this time. It's fine. I don't want to taste it too. I smell it. I smell it. I smell it. It's fine. Okay. It, it's good. Okay, let's see. I, I just can't. I got to make sure because it's nothing worse. It don't matter. matter. It still got to be good. I need to fall in a lot of cops. Y'all, let me tell y'all about Demetrius' daddy. So when he come, well, usually everybody can see already. And then Demetrius' daddy always fix the plate. So I always say him, fix you like two or three plates. That way you'll have enough. Do he ever listen to Mitras? No. So he 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 called back saying I done ate all my food. He like to come back. And get I need to come back. <laughs> I don't know what's the reason for this. He like Daddy Monk told you to fix the plate. I know. I just wanted to come back and get this better when I come back. Right. Because <laughs> I tell him he was like, well, I didn't think I was gonna eat all of it, but yeah. I ate all of it, so he be back the next day. Yeah, yeah, that's Daddy. That's Daddy. Right. Okay. Okay, that's good. I think it once it's sick, man, it's gone. Boom, bam, pow. I think that's it. You working yourself too hard, and it's probably it gotta be good, y'all. It's probably you already taste good. It? No, mm -mm. it's probably already good. Okay, that's it. You're not even gonna eat dressing like that. It don't matter. It don't matter if. It's just me, you, and Milo. It's gotta be good. <laughs> it's gotta be good. It's always good, though, man. I know, but I just have to make sure. Like, I want, when people eat, I want them to be like, let me read this to y'all. So, one of my, <laughs> this girl, that she was she used to be my customer. So, this was she put on, um, this is what she posted. This was, I think, like, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Okay, y'all, I'm waiting on the meetings to get back. But while I'm waiting on the meetings to get back, let me know what all you cook for Thanksgiving. And then let me know that you start like two days before Thanksgiving, the day of Thanksgiving. Let us know. Listen, I was just chilling today because usually we have like a set time every year 
that we have everybody come over. So usually, you know, I'm just trying to have everything done and all of that stuff. But with us not having company this year, I didn't have to, you know, have everything done by a certain time. So I think I may call my mommy and get her some dress. And I don't think she cooked dresses. I think she's making a turkey. But anyway, so this is the post. It says morning. Now listen, N I H. <laughs> if you ain't so, it, it says if you ain't so much as peel a potato this year, please sit down talking about do's and don'ts for Thanksgiving. And another thing, you've been eating nasty food not made from scratch all year. Don't act like you don't eat it for Thanksgiving. <laughs> it says keep eating it. And don't lie, because I see y'all plates y'all buy from folks, and I would never say these little plate sales that be all on Facebook <laughs> and stuff. Because I done seen a few rough plates, okay? It's a chicken being cooked in old grease. Kate, Kate look as stale as communion bread. <laughs> she says, y'all can't tell the difference. Just eating it up. Sit down somewhere. I'm sick of y'all wanting to be experts on everything and masters of nothing. Mind your own business and let folks cook how they want to cook. And don't come in my inbox tussling. I got time today. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> she telling the truth. Cause baby, if people, they will go back and forth if it's jiffy or homemade. If it's this or that or the other. Oh, I can't believe you putting this in that. Listen. You don't know how it tastes. <laughs> and it seems like everybody just had this thing for homemade this and homemade, you know, made from scratch and da 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 da. They don't know what made from scratch tastes like. Right. Because it's been stuff that I made and people are like, oh my God, this the best scratch such and such and such. And I be sitting there looking like, Psh, you just don't know. <laughs> that is not made from scratch. But you can add stuff to Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Jiffy. You can add stuff to Jiffy to make it taste like it's from scratch. But I don't know why. It's just so many people. I don't know. What's the thing about scratch? I don't understand the big deal of some made from scratch or not. But yeah, anyway. If they don't have a grandma in them, an uh, auntie in them, uh, mom, what they call it, me, mom, mom, uh, uh, me, it's me, mom, uh, 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 mud deer, mm -hmm. uh, if y'all ain't got them, you ain't getting scratched. Right. <laughs> I don't know. You, hey, hey, I ain't not. Keep on. Let me move. Let me move. Keep on. Let me I'm move. trying. I'm using you to, to lean on so I can. You lean and I. You lean. I like that outfit that you have on. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Me, me, he always make me get off track. Okay, come on, party. Uh, get off track. I'm, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to have something stable to lay on. You stay in line. <laughs> come on, get to this. Come on. Come on, pull my dressing up in here. I'm not going there. We both be calling your mom. You go. Oh yeah. School. Let me. Let me. Okay. Let's do this first. Then I call mom and see if if I need to. Um, Make a dressing. Y'all, I made a lot of dressing. Okay. Can y'all help? <laughs> Mama, you sure don't sound like you in the kitchen. You on um you on the you on our video so everybody can hear you. Uh -huh, what video? On our YouTube video, on our Thanksgiving video. The family listening to you. I told them, let me call and see if you can get anything done. <laughs> All right, so you haven't put the turkey in the oven either? Yeah, I took, I, took, I took the turkey out. I cooked it about five o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the dressing? I cooked it and still, it ain't in the stove yet. Oh, you ain't put the dressing in the stove yet. Oh, well, Mitchell, Oh, okay. She was gonna I'm make she was gonna make you a pan of dressing. No, I told her not to make me nothing to sell her somewhere. Well no, it ain't that. She just over she just made too much. Well no, I made extra because I ain't think she told me yesterday she wanna cook it. Girl. I, I, I cook too much soup freezer. Good luck in the freezer. I'm gonna make Demetrius dad or um yeah, I'm going to make him a pan, and then that's going to be that. All right, mama. Okay, then. That's what y'all doing. 
Mm-hmm. What y'all got out on ham? No, uh-uh. We're not going to do this right now. <laughs> I only made a small amount of potato salad because I knew it was just going to be me and Demetrius. I have my own potato salad. Okay, I don't well, you got you everything. Know. Ham, greens, yams. I need some greens. Everybody want greens today, don't you? You ain't got that many greens. Everybody asking for your greens. Doug, Doug he's not ready to ask for greens. Oh, I don't remember that. Ain't anyway, nobody, we, ain't nobody gonna eat them, so you get a little bit of green. Don't nobody eat stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, me and me, the don't want to eat greens over here. Um, I want some cake. I know you got you got cake. I want some cake. I ain't got no cake. Well, we don't have no cake, Granny. Oh, make sure you know the Lord hear you right. People always <laughs> trying to put the Lord in something when they want something. <laughs> What about the Lord when everybody around here doing all this bad stuff? Don't nobody talk about the Lord being. Anyway, mama, we got to go so we can finish this stuff. Me and Mitch, we ain't going to eat till 10 o'clock tonight or I'm going to finish this stuff. Oh, goodness. But you need to taste this ham, girl. This ham is kicking. Three days later. Me and Mitch had jamming last night. Yeah, I'm jamming. Yeah, you got me. I had some wine. Well, we ain't got no wine. We was drinking water. <laughs> no, that's like a meow, meow. Milo don't know about no cats. He ain't an ice. Milo, we looking for that cat boy. <laughs> Milo is a house dog. He don't know nothing about that real life. Yes, he did. Milo, look. Milo better go find that cat. He gonna go outside and one of them cats gonna beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you. Several months later. Real pie. Potato pie, your best to both of right. A potato pie? That's that I supposed to get half of it. Yeah, that. You supposed to get half. You might need to call and tell them to make you one. I ain't know you eat potato pie, too? I do. Well, Mama, you said I could get half of that pie. What's wrong? What pie? You talking about the potato pie? When you start eating that stuff with that What's meat? What sweet potato pie? The one your best to make. Where is that? Oh. <laughs> she must have changed her mind. I don't believe it. I believe you guys should change her mind. <laughs> yeah, so uh, y'all gonna bring me my pie and, um, my pie and cake. Um, what you want me to go by the store and get you some pie? No. Uh, you promised me half of your pie. You know what? We're going you know, to go by Rouse's. Rouse's open. Yeah. We're going to go up there. I don't there. want no Rouse's pie. <laughs> and get you some pie. Okay, then. I don't want it. Keep it. I don't want that. You need to choose. You can get pie or you can get cake. Now, which one you want? From your house. Huh? From your house. Yeah, pie or pie or cake. You can't have both now. You can't have, you are a senior citizen now. You don't need all this. And that's why I should be able to have exactly what I want, because I'm a senior citizen. No. Nah. So which one you want? Both. Oh, well. We're going to get you that pecan pie. I don't want that. I'm going to stop by. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop, gonna stop by Rouse's on the way. Stop by Rouse's on the way over there. Piggly Wiggly, but we can stop by there. This thing smells so good. Yeah, it smells 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 good. No, the dress. <laughs> All right, mom, we gotta go. We gotta finish talking to the family. All right, family, hey y'all. Oh, I thought the thing was chance. falling. Hi. I thought it was no. The Mitchell had moved the camera. I thought it was falling down. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving, family. Have a wonderful, wonderful, safe day today, and may God bless you all. Uh, good little girl, you and your husband, I want my pie and my, and my cake, okay? All right, Green, we'll holler at you. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> so, um, let me show y'all. We're just going to stay on here with y'all because a lot of y'all be talking about it. We like to sit and hear y'all talk and all that stuff, so I'm going to just leave y'all on here. Don't y'all talk about my ashy hands. <laughs> if you ain't ashy, your food ain't good. <laughs> Reach. Don't tell somebody. <sighs>
You know, when you wash your hands, I ain't gonna go put lotion on my hands 50 well, times. That'll let you know that your hands, let everybody know your hands clean if they're ashy. Right. So you've been washing them. You right. You got time to put lotion on everybody got time 50 seven times. Right. Okay, so this is just powder, sugar, conviction, sugar, sugar, whatever you call it, it's the same thing. So I add this. And then, honey, give me that milk. I add some milk. Just a small amount of milk. Okay, so I'm just going to add. And just add a small amount because this uh, confectioner sugar, you know, is light. So you only want to start out with a small amount. If you use too much, just go back and add some. Then I have some lemon extract. And with the vanilla... You can use like the um, brown vanilla, but I like using the clear because it don't change the color of the glaze. And you can get this from Walmart, but you have to go to the cake decorating department. So I'm just gonna add, y'all, this Demetrius little train going off <laughs> his phone. So, um, so you just gonna mix that. And if you want it, you know, just thin, you could leave it like this, but I'm gonna add some more because my family, they like the glaze a little thicker. And you could use a whisk, but if you use the spoon and just continue to whisk, it'll, um, you know, the powder sugar will, um, thin out and then you won't have like all those lumps and stuff for those big chunks of powdered sugar. So um uh, I know he's gonna say something smart. What you doing? Why you gotta bend down? So I get in the camera so I get on your level. <laughs> this what this how we are in the kitchen like when the camera is out. But we usually have a music blessing. We gonna play with y'all for a little while, but then we gonna turn that music up. Not that blues though. Anything but the blues. What? No, not today. Man. Now when the mutual go outside on the on the back porch, then he'll probably have it going. But mm -mm. I'm gonna be rocking it. Oh, you go ahead. Boom, 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 boom. We got one neighbor. Uh, that is not how blues sound. <laughs> we got one neighbor, baby. They be back here. They got a party back there. But some of our neighbors, some of them are, are old and some of them just don't, you know, play music like that. Loud music like that. I should have just got a whistle instead of continuing to beat this, but y'all know what it is. So, I mean, glaze is just glaze whether you add like a um you want almond if you want doing something strawberry and you want that flavor so honey bring the camera so i can show them like the texture so if you find that you have like lumps just get you a whisk but that's what you're looking for right there okay and we just gonna Pour it over the top. Like I said, if you like it a little thinner, then just add more liquid and less um, sugar. But my family, I remember one year I did it thin. They was like, where well, the icing? That's all right. Demetrius and his kids, I tell you. Demetrius and his kids. I don't think nobody me and Jay. Was complaining about it? Yeah. Y'all didn't eat all that ice. No, my, my baby gonna be on my team. She ain't feeling too hot, y'all. Yeah. They ain't got like a little cold or something. She was fussing saying she caught her from school. Y'all know how people send their kids. Which, I, I mean, if they in high school, I don't understand why they don't stay home if they sick. You know what I'm saying? They ain't old enough to stay home by themselves. That's what most of the... Uh, Stuff be coming from anyway, school. Yeah. So we give her um 
like vitamins and all that. You know, I have her take that when she go to school, when school start back because, well, she takes certain vitamins anyway, but certain vitamins when school start back, I give her. So I just let that, um, let that dry. And then that's the pound cake. So usually I make like red velvets and all that because the family come over, but I didn't do all that this year. And so Christmas, I may make it just so, you know, people can come over and get cake. Cause I know when that was not too long ago, I made two pound cakes. We let some of the family know and that pound cake was gone. Both of them was gone in like two days. So. So. We can put a little bit more in there. And I think we'll freeze the other. Whoop. Well, I almost didn't make it. Your dad ain't gonna know what to do when he see he got him a pan of uh, dressing. He gonna be looking for that macaroni. Oh, yeah. Dad said, that macaroni. Dad <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> that macaroni is off the church. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna put that into the cake dish. And it's done. We'll put y'all back on when we, um, after I get the macaroni noodles done. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, Demetrius need to shred my cheese for me. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back. I don't know if y'all gonna get all that on this Thanksgiving. Y'all gonna get some of it. But we're gonna hang out with y'all for a while while we in the kitchen. But now, Mom can try and make this a three hour video. Not gonna happen. Uh, your girl over here playing behind the camera and stuff. So we'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So my hubby is getting ready to check his uh, turkey. So our temp is 165. And I don't think it's ready yet. But I just uh, want to check it. Y'all, I didn't even know Demetrius still had this smoker. I think this was his uh, Father's Day gift. Mm. What, maybe like six or seven years ago? Yeah. I didn't even know he still had it. Yeah. It was up in the attic. Move back, Milo. Move back. Ooh. Ooh, bitch, that's looking that's good. Like that. Is it? Yeah. So what? what's the uh, temp supposed to be? Uh, 165, 160, 165. Oh, okay. Move back, Milo. Oh, yeah. It's, it's done. done? Yeah. Oh, man. You thought it was going to take longer look than that. that. Look at that. Oh, Ooh, Mitchell. Look at my hubby. <laughs> Maybe my little trying to get him some. Go on, honey. I'm glad you did come out here and check it. Move back, my little. Yeah, it's like 170 to 180. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Okay. So let's, uh, let's put him on that. So y'all it said that it was supposed to cook. How long, honey? Uh, six to eight hours. Yeah, and how long? Move back, my lord. Okay, you get over there and get burned. You gonna listen, little boy. Look at him, y'all. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Don't you go over there. Let me put him in his cage, y'all. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So how long? <laughs> <laughs> I told, I told him that you need the big ones, but so how long did you say it was supposed to cook? Six hours, and it's been four hours. I'm glad he decided to come and check it. That's all. Oh, honey, look at you. Mine did that. Oh, yeah. Look at your wings, Mitch, today. Still got the meat on and oh, everything. Yeah. See a little bone coming through? Oh, yeah. Give it to me, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to bring him in. And I probably could put him in the pan. Okay. Oh, okay. That's it. That thing say, I ain't trying to come up. Stick the fork in, honey. Yeah, look at him. Don't meet you. Look at that bird. Got that right amount of crispiness on the outside. <laughs> meet you. Like, y'all should have seen Meech's last night. <laughs> Boy, that, that uh, turkey. It started all uh, small by the time it was finished in uh by the time he finished injecting that thing, it looked like it went from 14 pounds to 25 pounds. Put, them, put that liquid juice in him. 
liquid steroids in him. <laughs> All right, so the turkey is done. Okay, y'all, so I am done with the potato salad. I'll tell y'all what I put in it. So I use mayo, of course, relish, um, onion, bell pepper, and celery. Y'all know my little McCormick mix. I put some of that in there. Uh, black pepper, salt, and sugar. Now, I don't use uh, mustard. I know a lot of people use mustard, but that's what I use. And to me, the sugar just kind of balance everything out. I don't like yellow. Yeah, me neither. Okay, that's it. Yeah. So that's what I do, and it kind of helps uh, take the tartness out from the... Um, even though it's sweet relish, to me it has like that dill in there. And I don't use dill. Like the dill relish, I don't like it. So that's what I put in there. And then usually I add around the um, potato salad, I'll steam some eggs and I'll put that around the potato salad. So if Demetrius want to take them and chop them up in his, he can. But he said he didn't need any this year, so... I'm gonna take me a little break now. I have the water on for the macaroni noodles. And then once the dressing comes out, I'm gonna throw the ham in there. And then that's it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know why the food seemed like it was fighting against me this year. That's because you okay. taking breaks and, 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 and you know, you ain't like, well, honey, like you used to be. You used to be in them mud, just pop, 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 just back to back. I ain't talking back, about that. Back. I'm talking about like with the, um, Seasonings. It seemed like never, they made me work never, hard. You ain't never had that problem before. No, you, you just season and then you be like, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I think the food like. Listen, we ain't gotta be good this year. Ain't nobody coming. I had I had to get this potato salad together. That's right. That's right. And let it know. Let it know. You wouldn't have to feed me. <laughs> so let me know what y'all put in y'all's potato salad. Yeah. But yeah, and I was gonna say something else about the potato salad. Oh, so let me tell y'all, when I cut up the potatoes, like I cut some big and then some small. Okay. That way, when you, um, you know, like when you finish boiling your potatoes, you'll have some big chunks. And then, of course, you know, some is going to, you know, mash up like, like mashed potatoes. So if you do it like that, you'll have big chunks and everything won't just be mashed up. That's your boy on the fire heartbeat said. Wang. <laughs> you know, Kevin, honey? You ain't got to wait on nobody. Guess who gonna call my husband? Who? He call or text you? Who that? Jamon. So that's the only reason I'm making like uh, two pounds of macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Because I know Jamon loves it, so I probably make him a separate piece. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna cut a little piece of the side right here, buddy. Yeah, you, you, you want white meat? Yeah, I'm gonna taste the white meat. Ooh, I hear that crispiness, honey. Oh, I got a little juice. Okay, you man. You gotta see that? Oh, that must be some dark meat right there. That's a piece of dark meat? I'm guessing. Piece it's of got... Oh, yeah, I'm guessing because it's got a... The texture is different. I already read it. Oh, you did good with that, honey. Oh. <laughs> you did good with that. <laughs> Down, Mitra. Oh, that's good, honey. It's got some good flavor, too. Look, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna be able to tell him nothing. He gonna be smoking a turkey every week. <laughs> That's good, honey. You see, that real good. Yeah. We did that, babe. Mm -hmm. You did that, honey. I know. Well, I gotta get my baby picture. You got all this, all this other stuff going on over here. Get one of them legs and stuff it. Before you be like the turkey head. Turkey head. Turkey lid. Turkey lid. Mm-hmm. My lid, them lids ain't big enough. They got big old lid. Oh. You did good. I forgot to tell you to save the juice. Because I need to make some turkey gravy. Oh, it gone, babe. I know. I forgot. Okay, y'all. So, I'm getting ready to make the macaroni and cheese. I'm just going to show you all what I use. Now, I don't know if we're going to use all this cheese, but... It's better to get more cheese than you need so you ain't running back and forth to the store. So I'm going to be using a Kobe Jack. I like the crowd. So Kobe Jack and then medium cheddar. 
When I'm making macaroni and cheese, I like to, now if I'm being lazy, I get the pre-shredded cheese. But like on holidays and stuff, I like to use um, the block cheese because to me, when you freshly shred the cheese, it's, you know, it melts better than all this stuff. Just to me, give it a different texture. And then I like to use the Parmesan cheese. I get this from Publix. This is just some leftover Parmesan cheese. And then, of course, you have to have the Velveeta. I'm also, I'm also going to use milk. And then I'm going to add some heavy cream just to add some richness to that. And I have um, butter. I just have that with the macaroni noodles over so it could just naturally melt that. And um, that's it. And then I just top it off with some cheese and that's it for the macaroni and cheese. I forgot to tell y'all, I forgot all about the seasoning. Thing. <laughs> so I use salt, pepper, um, and then I use, I mean, I add a little bit of sugar just so it, you know, just balances out the taste again. Now you can or you, you know, you do or you don't. But um, yeah, so I add that just to cut the tartness of the cheese. And yeah, that's it. You can add like if you want to add seasoning salt or any other season seasoning just to enhance the flavor. But but yeah, that's the basic the basic recipe for the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand, take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy. Families near, we give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green, red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all from big to small Warm laughter and white smiles My presents stacked in piles Take me away Christmas Day Take me away 